Hello, my name is Jimmy Allison. I'm an Ableton Live certified trainer at Austin Ableton Tutor, and my stage name is Rentac. This video is about using and recording automation in Ableton Live 9. Automation is a very useful tool in music production, enabling you to draw or record parameter changes throughout your composition. If you have automation arm enabled, Ableton Live will record any parameter adjustments you make while recording in session and arrangement view. Automation arm is located next to the transport controls at the top of your screen. For example, in session view, I will record a baseline with my Ableton Push. While I'm recording the baseline, I will adjust the filter cutoff using a knob on the push. Ableton Live records the automation directly into the clip. After I'm finished recording, I can also overdub the automation. or I can make automation adjustments with my mouse. Now in Arrangement View, I will click the Back to Arrangement button. The Back to Arrangement button disables everything in Session View that is overriding Arrangement View. To record in Arrangement View, you must have the Arrangement Record button enabled. With the Arrangement Record button enabled, Live will record into all ARM tracks. Now I can record the automation of my filter or any other parameter as I'm tracking the MIDI notes with my push. Then when I'm finished, much like in session view, I can adjust the automation manually with my mouse. But to overdub the automation without overdubbing the recorded MIDI or audio, I must disarm the track. And then when I arm the arrangement record button, Ableton Live will record any parameter that I move with the controller or mouse. Except when using the Ableton Push, you cannot disarm the track that is in focus. In order to overdub automation and arrangement view with Ableton Push, without overdubbing the recorded MIDI notes, you must open your input output section. The view can be toggled on and off with the I.O. button located on the lower left side of Live. Then set the input of the MIDI track to no input. This will make the arm track button disappear, enabling you to just record automation with the push and not erase the MIDI notes. In session view, if I move the clip, the automation will stick with the clip. But if I want to leave the automation in place, I can enable the lock envelopes button. The lock envelopes button is located at the top left of the arrangement view. Another great feature about automation in Ableton Live 9 is that I can move clips seamlessly between session view and arrangement view while retaining the automation with the clip. Drawing automation in Ableton Live 9 is a little different than in previous versions. Basically, in order to create or delete a breakpoint, you only have to single click on the line. To move a line, you need to move your mouse just off the line, then the line will change color, signifying your mouse is in the correct place to move the line. Then just click and move. You can also edit automation by making selections, then moving the line. This will automatically create the needed breakpoints. You can also make a basic curve. While scrolling over the line, hold down Option, then click, and if you move your mouse up or down, it'll create a curve. Now here's a little tip. Sometimes when you directly automate your primary track controls, such as volume, pan, and mute, this can slow you down later when you want to make overall adjustments to your mix. For example, if the track fader is automated and you want to turn the overall track down while working on your final mix, you would need to adjust the entire automation lane. So in these situations, I usually prefer to use the Ableton Live Utility effect. By automating the utility effect instead of the track, I'm still free to work on my mix as usual and still be able to create the needed automation for the composition. Thank you for watching and I hope you found this video very helpful. I'm available for private lessons and classes online and in the Austin, Texas area. Feel free to contact me for more information and check out my website, austinabletontutor.com. Also check out my other videos and like Austin Ableton Tutor on Facebook.